Hey there. My husband and I have decided to learn some Italian. Why is that? Because we're planning a trip to Italy in 2023. A lot of my friends are using Duolingo and I thought, let's give it a try. We spent two weeks using it and I'm here to tell you what I think. English Without Fear, where you can learn to speak English naturally through listening to stories. You probably know that I spent 27 years teaching French to teenagers, and they often played around with Duolingo. That's how I looked at Duolingo, something to play around with for fun, but not a way to acquire a language. But I retired. I left the classroom almost four years ago, and I haven't had any contact with Duolingo through my students since. So when I mentioned to some friends and family, hey, you know, we're starting to learn Italian, these adult friends said, oh, I'm using Duolingo to learn French because I'm going to Paris in March. And then somebody else said, I'm using it to learn Spanish because I'm going to Colombia. And then I have a colleague where we volunteer here in Huntsville and she was telling me about that. So I thought, okay, maybe, just maybe Duolingo has changed since I had students who used it for fun. Well, we tried it for two weeks with an open mind and we stopped. Why? At first, it was useful. I learned, Mike learned some, some nouns, some verbs like girl, boy, um, woman, man, apple, I am, <laughs> we have things like that, book, things like that. But what I found after the first week was they, they, Duolingo, the app, wanted us to spell things perfectly. Oh my goodness, really? And I realized that Duolingo is an artificial intelligence platform. And the only way they can measure progress is to have something concrete that is either right or wrong. Kind of like math facts, you know, addition, subtraction, that kind of thing. It's either right or wrong. That's not how you learn a language, no. We had tried their free two-week trial of something called the family plan where there are no ads. If we did not cancel, they were gonna charge us $120. That's a lot of money for something that just became aggravating. Do you know what aggravating means? It really bothered me that all Duolingo seemed to care about was that I correctly spelled a word. And it rewarded me. It kept saying, nope, try again. Nope, try again. I could only advance to the next lesson if I spelled the plural form of women, the women, in Italian correctly. Oh my goodness. So before the trial ended, the free trial, I canceled. They always make it hard to cancel. So 
what did we do? What did we find? It just so happened that I was listening to a podcast and there was a British man being interviewed. He is a polyglot. He has learned more than one extra language. And he has a company that's called storylearning.com. And they have beginning classes in lots of languages. As you know, I believe the best way, the most effective way, the way that works to acquire, learn a language is through input that you understand, that you find interesting, and that is repetitive. And it needs to be a person, a real person, either a video that has been pre-recorded or in real time on the screen or in a classroom or in a home. But artificial intelligence, no, I don't think that works at all. A real person or a recorded video of a person can give input, rich, interesting, repetitive input in a way that is understandable, comprehensible. We call that comprehensible input. It's the way babies learn to speak. Do you think mothers and fathers make their one-year-old, their two-year-old spell a word? No. Children learn to speak fluently through listening, watching, interacting, cartoons, yes, uh, movies. Kids like to watch the same movie over and over and over again. And then when they go to school at age five or six, they learn how to spell, but they speak first. So this program, storylearning.com, is not perfect. There is some grammar, but it's better. It's, it's a lot better. There is an interesting story that goes through the whole course. There are 20 lessons. and. I, I want to know what happens. And it's written and we hear it in language that is comprehensible using what we call cognates, words that are similar in English, similar in, in Italian. So you can kind of guess. That's helpful too. So nothing's perfect, but this is a lot better and it's not artificial intelligence. So what do I think about Duolingo? By all means, if you want to, use it to play with for fun. It's competitive. You get to see if you are advancing quickly or better than somebody else. But will it help you acquire a language? Will it help you speak? No. So don't pay for it. Don't spend much time on it. Find something else, a person, a program, podcast, uh, YouTube video, and watch, listen, read, all those things. Input, input, input. That's how you acquire a language. And be patient. Remember, this takes hours. Little kids don't become fluent in one year or two year. Maybe by the time they've turned four, they're pretty fluent, but that's because they've had hours every single day of comprehensible input. If we could do that like a little kid, we'd be fluent quicker as well. Well, that's what I think about Duolingo. So tell me what you think leave me a comment underneath this video. And if I don't see you record another video before Christmas and the new year, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. For questions or comments, here's my email.